Pixel Geeks, in this series, we are going to cover how to create a template tracker or maybe a dashboard, which is we have a daily operation activity, right? Uh, we will call it as a operation task scheduler, operation activity monitoring sheet, daily work task tracker, operation activity dashboard, or maybe the, for that matter, we can call it as a daily task management template. Yeah. So this is just in a naming convention per se. I have added the names over here, but uh, ultimate goal is that whatever activities we are adding basis our date the person who are working on that particular activity deadline due date those kind of activities we can add it right so i have just jotted down some sort of key headers i would say and uh, how we can use this key headers in our template because i'm going to showcase you over here so let me zoom the screen okay i've just copied the content from there i'll do a Control alt v and then we'll transpose this as a values so it will look like this and uh, here while i was discussing with you guys right that time it got triggered that we can also add a due date as well somewhere right and you can customize this as per your own choice folks okay so that's not an issue due date i'll keep it as a due date as well and status i'll remove this particular part because i don't really need it uh, we'll add a drop down somewhere adding a conditional formatting yeah so i have date section activity which is column task name correct assigned to the person's email id uh, to whom we have assigned to right uh, or maybe we can do it like uh, okay so let me add like this okay insert it one more column and i'll call it this as a assigned and from and this i'll keep it as a two okay again while i'm creating this template uh, that time only i'm making out this particular changes so don't worry about that okay you can pause this video and work accordingly as per your convince folks okay i'll just adjust these columns like this due date i got status okay status i'll keep it as a red amber green so i'm gonna be completed because it's already there right so we'll keep it as a red amber green i'll say red amber green meaning red is basically you already passed the due date so that's the reason it's in red amber it's almost there okay uh, and green we are done with the task so when we have a completed that time it will show us status completed perfect priority high priority low priority medium those kind of uh priority you can add i'll keep it urgent high medium low okay for this priority and then comment notes if in case uh, somebody wants to add their own notes they can do it that's completely fine yeah uh, i'll just merge this like it merge it and then we'll merge like this center again status merge center merge it so so far we have did a formatting like this and uh, i'll add a color like this okay so this is the uh, template so far i have made basis on the data you can first that you know create your visualization chart as well that's complete your call how you, you want to showcase this you know but i would uh, say right you know we can create that visualization but for that we need to have to have a data in place right and definitely we'll add that some sort of data points over here and i'll showcase you uh, how you can showcase this right because we can't go ahead and ask our you know respective leaders to see this particular chart instead they just want to see the visualization are we on a track uh, are we on not track and uh, simple graph view right so now i have added this uh, in progress completed pending what we will do uh, for status right status we have seen 
so for status only i'll do a this and then inside a data there is an option called in data tools data validation correct we'll see a list and the source is from this to this because i have three sections so i've just selected this and then i'll keep it as a okay for now you are saying this is a blank right but when i add this data over here in progress completed and uh, let's go the right pending correct so when i say it in progress completed and pending cool so this is how uh, it looks like and uh, will what we will do if i find this as a completed then showcase this as a uh, red or maybe or i think you know red amber green will automatically cover inside this so we don't need a separate red amber green for this template so we can just directly make this as a red amber green meaning i'll quickly show you how uh, so i'll copy this content first i'll select this on the top right inside a home conditional formatting and then i'll create a new rule and then i'll just select this first uh, okay so select text that contains i'm just specific text in progress meaning for me it's an amber so for this i'll select this color right and uh, again i'm just seeing this in progress and there you go likewise we'll do it for completed as well copy select this conditional formatting new rule again sell that contains a specific value ta -ta 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 -ta. and there you go for pending i'll mark it this as a red see again it's complete your call how you want to play with the color code how you want to define your criteria right basis that you can do it it's complete your call folks okay there is a no restriction uh, why you did this why you did that that's complete your call so what i will do um i'll make this font size as a seven because that's huge for me right earlier one so that's the reason so completed in progress pending if in case you want to keep this name as a green that's it you can keep it or otherwise you can hide this content as well okay uh, and now as well if i say select pending if i suppose let it completed again for this one is in progress this color code will automatically get added right so this is for a status section again uh we'll make some formatting over here as well yeah and this font says i'll keep it a bit small adjust this again we are yet to complete this we have did this we are deleting now now urgent high medium and low so priority we need to add for priority what i will do i'll mark it urgent high medium and low okay so as soon as i have done this uh we'll delete this because we don't want that right so that's the reason and uh, we'll hide this because any which ways we got this text so we don't need that right so we'll hide that particular part and at the end you can protect this sheet as well that's completely fine or otherwise you know you can just keep it as is because uh when you protect the sheet right whenever you are sharing this uh, particular spreadsheet with the respective stakeholders that time it will create a problem so that's the reason keep it as is that's that's completely fine don't protect the sheet that's fine and uh, i'll unhide it once again urgent high medium low now you will help me out how i will do it right so yes i'll take a pause you can type your comments in the below section okay boom let me start again yeah
range where data and then there would be an option called data validation see this list and this is the source and okay before i hit a okay button i want to showcase you one more option okay which you can apply in in progress completed pending as well okay uh, for now i'm just showcasing you for to the urgent high medium and low input message okay title uh, select appropriate button okay uh, appropriate uh, indication i will say yeah uh, select any one select from drop down or i would say right select from drop down and then error alert stop use uh, drop down message select drop down priority okay so what i have did i have just selected the range first and then i have added the input message error alert like this and okay okay so as soon as i hit the okay i get this option which is a hover one select appropriate indicator select the drop down so basically whenever user interact with this particular tracker they will get the notification that you know hey see again uh, when we see this tracker right that time it see as a blank right when we hover the cursor over here this particular notification will get it select the appropriate indication select from a drop down so yeah i'll select this suppose i type like you know some sort of name and i'll enter i get a error drop down message select drop down priority so this is my stop error alert right so what i will do i'll just do a escape from my keyboard and i'll select a medium and then this is a urgent and this is low so and so forth correct and uh, for this as well you can add your conditional formatting that's completely fine i'll do it for you guys and uh, what i will do i just copy this and this time i'll not uh, select this red amber and green okay because uh, it doesn't look so looks good so so <laughs> I, I meaning basically so red it doesn't look good always so urgent i would say green it's urgent for me high slightly green i would say contains okay so new rule again that contains specific value high and then this particular color code i would see high right and urgent this again medium for this as well copy select new rule this medium okay and for low uh, again i select this new rule specific text low and this is actually low right so that's fine i mean the priority for that particular activity is not really that important right so that's the reason i marked as a low i'll select this as a high again this is the urgent one this is the urgent one for me so this kind of a color code combination i have added cool so so far with me guys right uh, this is the um, activity we have performed and uh, i'll move ahead over here if in case you want to showcase this uh, condition formatting as well you know current week or uh, maybe ongoing week uh, this week particular uh, section needs to be get highlighted in a red blah 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 color 
you can that particular color code as well in the conditional formatting but i don't want to get into that uh, what i will do i'll add a dates first okay uh, i think we have to make the font size changes once again i'll do it seven i'll adjust it daily tracker so this is my daily activity so i'll add as a daily tracker i need to mention assigned from uh, vinod to rashmi let's say due date would be for today's due date is my this so what i will do i'll add a formula in it i'll say this plus three days okay after three days it needs to be a completed this is the due date for me and uh, for due date i'll make this formatting changes i'll press a control one okay shortcut key over here and then i'll click on the custom i'll say as a date and uh, month uh, so i'll keep it as a date and uh, month yeah that's fine because i don't want year so that's fine centrally alignment okay for this again bold content would be centrally aligned this is my due date this is my activity this is my due date comment uh, please complete on priority so this is my just an notes right and uh, what i will do i'll just hide this because it's not looks good I'll hide this and for this I'll mark it as a all borders and uh, in a view section I'll turn off the grid lines so the grid lines would be not there and the formula bar I, I want a formula bar so I'll keep it a as is formula bar and I need a headings as well because I want to showcase you what type of uh, columns we are using while playing with this particular chart so this is my activity tracker correct now what i want um i want a chart out of it right you can directly convert this into the table as well but uh, i'll recommend don't go with the table directly uh, until unless your columns or maybe headers right for that matter are in a similar row sequence here we have a two rows and we have merged that all together right so that's the reason we are not using the table but if in case you are activity tracker like this in a one section in a one row right that time you can just press a control t and you can convert that simply in a you know table form okay what you need to do suppose uh, i'll show you over here this is your header you just need to click over here control t and as soon as I press the control T, you can convert this your table, okay, your this particular activity tracker into the table, right? And um, basis that you can insert your charts, right, and uh, play accordingly. So as per the data sets which we have available. So for now there is no data set, so that's fine. Cool. So I'll just make a control Z. For this because we have a data at the background so that's the reason and uh, there you go so let me add a dates accordingly i'll do a plus one okay and activities tracker what type of activities tracker i'll do so for me i'm just randomly doing this uh, dates it's not that you know it's a stipulated one but whatever activities email send uh, follow up deck preparation so and so forth just you know i'll add a ravindra sushma abha charu chan the knee right and suhas 
so this is just in a um, names i have added and the due date i'll keep it a same like this okay i'll just drag it down at the bottom and uh, whenever i feel that on you know, a due date is getting a more than current date that time it will get a okay highlighted so basically what for that we need to add a conditional formatting again but i'll not get into the detail if you want just ping me on the bottom of this particular video especially on youtube right i'll definitely help you with the formula because we just need to add a simple formula which is is equal to today and greater than so and so you will get that formatting added okay so for now this video series is for uh, the people who are keen interested to create their daily activity tracker right so that's the reason we have prepared this and uh, let's copy this or maybe let's try a activity tracker if so for now i think we have a dip, uh, multiple you know rows and headers at the top so that's the reason we are not able to create a visualization killer same activity tracker right which will help you to visualize it right what i have earlier give you the example in this spreadsheet so what i will do i'll just move a copy create a copy and okay okay so now what we will do we'll change this entire formatting so i'll merge and center i'll remove this merge and center i'll delete this line i because i don't need this and entire row ship cells up cool so this is how it will look like i'll remove this particular part and this is the data set which i have already correct so in this what i want uh, suppose i will add it this date and uh, follow up second time rashmi i will say and uh, this time i'll keep as a one owner as well so i'll remove this too and i'll mark this as a owner so this is the owner of this particular tracker this is the another method again guys uh, you can use this method or maybe earlier one that's completely your call how you want to go ahead if in case you want to visualize this then you can use this otherwise you can use the previous one which is a very simple one right uh, i'll add a apurva over here and due date what i will do i'll just draw, drag it down and uh, i'll keep it as a pending for me for this is a low it's not a priority uh, or otherwise i'll say it's an uh, urgent okay uh please take a look at simple content i have added okay what we have did simply once again i am explaining you i have just copied this particular part in the next tab i have removed the top merge and center made the one column which is owner one now and only one column i needed right i don't need a from to whom right so i just need a one column that's it and we have added one more entry to visualize it better now what we will do we'll click any of the cell we'll press control t button and as soon as i press the control t button right i'll get a pop up like this okay or otherwise what you can do you just click somewhere over here okay and then table so this automatically range get highlighted insert table and then hit okay button okay there are ample amounts of design you can choose it as per your choice i'll select this and uh, what i will do i'll click on insert i prefer this option which is recommended charts so which help us by the microsoft itself right so what type of activities and charts we should use to deliver this activity so as soon as i press a recommended chart i get this opportunity to work on that i just press a control x and add it over here or what you can do we can adjust this later on okay first we'll insert a charts as much as we can okay 
I'll insert this as well again control X and paste it over here for now this again we'll see what I can get it more so I'm just selecting any of the uh, chart right uh, basis our usability so I think we are good over here so what I will do so there we go and uh, what we can do now uh, I'll remove this top headers titles as well okay oops remove this and uh, we'll design this as per the formatting call no outline again here as well no outline and so this there we go and uh, this is beautifully designed will insert a shape somewhere like this so as soon as you do any kind of an activity right so that time it will automatically get refreshed at the top and uh, suppose I've had a date like 7th email lur email send again I'll add a email send cherry name and uh, in progress activity I'll keep it a in progress okay and this is the high priority so if I say in progress and high and refresh this particular activity tracker that time it we can see these names or maybe visualization get refreshed okay and uh, at the right hand side you can see this as a daily operations activity tracker okay so for this I'll make a adjustment somewhere right and I'll adjust it like this cool so and then uh, if in case you want to insert a logos icons you can do that as well go into the insert section and uh, we'll insert a icon from here illustration I will do see what type of illustration if you want to see you can check it out from here and you can insert it I'll do a this thing just adjust size as per your need you can make a uh, changes in it okay that's completely fine at the top of the ribbon right uh, spreadsheet itself you can see it and you can adjust your design I'll say like daily operations like this and this is my adjustment basically so I'm just cutting this I, I don't need this right that's what I'm just cutting this and there you go so here we have created our own in-house daily operations activity tracker with the dashboard cool hope you find this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching have a great great day ahead